What's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. Today we're out here on the beautiful Savannah River. It's been about two weeks since we've been out here, so we're like, you know what? We gotta get out here and try to catch some big bass. We're actually doing something different today that we've never done before. There's one bait that I really haven't got to experiment with much on the river, and it has to be throwing a big worm out here. So what we're gonna do is rig up some big worms on our rods, throw around some of this beautiful cover behind us and see if we can catch some big fish. So that's the game plan today. It's actually around 100 degrees, but we got the cooler packed up with the ice and the waters and we're all prepared for today. The weather the last few days has been insane. I know you guys are probably experiencing it too. It has been super hot and it has been brutal. Let me tell you, it's been rough just being out here for like an eight hour day. It's been pretty hard. Also, let me know if you guys have been enjoying the river videos. Hit the like button on this video, leave a comment down below. And if you guys have anything that you wanna see us do out here on the river, let me know down below. So we actually stopped by Dick's this morning because we had to get a little bit of supplies, boys and girls. Let me tell you, the hardest thing to find recently within like the last year has to be bullet weights. We actually found some, these are like, some eagle claw bullet weights but they're actually one eighth ounce so it's not really what we wanted but this is all they had this has been the hardest thing to find i don't understand like you can find baits you can find whatever but when it comes to your simple lead weights you cannot find them anywhere i ended up buying a couple packs of flukes which will probably be thrown around a good bit today that might be like later in the day cody got him a little pack of lizards so we're gonna try those out that's in california 420 and then I got two different big worms that we're going to be trying out today. We got the old monster and plum. And then we got just one of these like culprit 10 inch worms. This one's in June bug. I'll show you guys both of our options. So that's the June bug one. It's looking pretty saucy. Out here on the Savannah River, you guys know the water's a little bit more murkier, but today it's actually pretty clear. So uh, I think it's going to be good. And then we also have the old monster, and that's a plum worm. That's crazy. That sounds like a mudfish though. So that's the plum worm. And then the June bug right there. They're both 10 inches. I think I'm going to probably start off with the June bug, this darker color one, see where this gets us. If we don't have any bites on this, I'll end up switching up to the plum worm right here. So that's kind of the game plan. And then we're going to be putting this on a four out extra wide gap hook. And then that one eighth ounce bullet weight. So if you guys are wondering about the combo I'm throwing too, this is actually a Lose Custom Pro on a Mach 2 rod, 17 pound fluorocarbon. So let's go ahead and get this started. I'm gonna stop talking, tie this bad girl up and see if we can catch a big one on this today. This is the thing, when you're fishing a big worm, you can get a lot of bites. You know, small fish are gonna bite it, but I'd almost rather only have a few bites today that are really good, you know, some good big fish. And I've never done this out here on the river, so I really don't know what to expect. You know, a big worm might be the secret to catching some of those big Savannah River bass. So we're gonna find out today. If you guys are wondering what knot I'm tying, it's a simple uni knot. Tie her on up, wet our line. Boom, cut our tag in, pow. One side of the worm's gonna have like ribbed, ribbed side. The other side's gonna be flat. So what you wanna do is take the point of your hook, go through the head of the worm and you're gonna to want to break out of the flat side. So where you break is you're gonna to want to slide this all the way in the worm, and once the worm hits this corner, that's exactly where you're gonna to wanna to break through, just like that. Now we're gonna push this worm all the way up to the front of the hook, just like that. And if you guys are wondering, we're gonna rig this weedless, because the last thing you wanna do is be hooking trees and a bunch of vegetation. So you're gonna lay the worm right here on the hook, where the back of this hook is, that's where, exactly where you're gonna to wanna to penetrate it. Boom, just like that. And I'm gonna bury the point of the hook. Boom, look at that. That's our big worm. We're gonna go ahead and get started, just fan cast around a good bit and uh, try to see what we learned today, put a bunch of information together in the first hour and then uh, use that to our advantage and see if we can catch some big ones. All right, baby, we ready to get it started. Here is our big old worm. I'm excited about this. I've never been so excited to be out here on the river and, and just try something different than I haven't done before because, you know, we come out here a lot and, and we enjoy just going and trying to find these big fish and throwing whatever we want, but there's not many times where I just get a bait that I haven't thrown and come out here and, and give it a whip. So we're gonna try it out today. See what we can get started with. Cody's throwing the big worm as well. 
And uh, if we don't end up getting them to eat this, guys, we're going to have to adapt. You know, we're going to adapt. We're going to change. We're going to try to catch these fish today. So we're going to go through the whole process and um, see what we can put together. But I'm just hoping we can get some good fish on this worm because it's something I haven't done before. I'm kind of excited about it. Or you can't tell me if this went past the five pounder's head right now, you wouldn't eat it. Oh. No way. Did you actually have one? Yeah, I had one, dude. He thumped it super. He hard. broke you off? Cast in there, yeah. You know what? I just looked at my line. Where was it at? I cast it at the base of that. Not that, but over there. Dude. I looked at my line and it was frayed after I did that, and I was like, you know what? I should retie, and I didn't. Oh. Did that feel like a good bite? It did, man. Oh, Cody. I'm kind of sad that they're done. The spring bite's done. I know. I am like, that's depressing. Yeah. Oh, no. Dude, you're lying, bro. I'm not. I might need to put on that color, dude. They're smoking that thing. Are you serious? Yeah, I just had a bunch of slack in my line, so I couldn't set it right when it hit. You might oh. eat it again, dude. It's a good hit. Oh, yeah! Oh, no. no, we did it! Come I on! I think he had the whole worm, dude. I think he had, like, the tail. Mmm. Dang, dude. You saw that oh. one. Yeah, you had them. Yeah. Did you get it? Yeah. Oh my God. All right, guys. Cody's been having, he's had three bites already on the plum one. So huh, that's what I'm about to try. Don't be copying me, bro. Hey, dude. Hey, bro. Hey, you bought them. Hey, dude. You use whatever you want. I can't believe you've had that many bites on this dang thing that quick. I think this worm's a little bit bigger than the one I was throwing to. Yeah, it is. I feel like a small one. Um, yeah, kind of. You've been moving it a lot too, haven't you? Yeah. I've been kind of dragging it, maybe. Maybe you've been like triggering them to bite with how you're popping it. At the base of this little thing is where you had that fish? Yep. Right there? Yep. See if he's still there. If I got your worm back. Oh, gosh. Is it a big mud? A big mud. <laughs> dude, I thought you had a mega. Oh, dude. I was just waiting on it to jump because I thought it was a bass. Uh, yeah, dude. I was about to say, you got a freaking monster. Can you? Yeah, I can get them off. you can hold it out and I'll fly it or? Honestly, I'm gonna hold her on and let you plier it because you got you got the pliering skills, dude. Oh yeah, guys, I got my first. <laughs> That's a freaking big boy. Yeah, dude, when you hook set, I was like, he either has a tree or a monster. I got one. Dude, my whole rod just went. Like little tiny, like. I didn't realize your line was still in the water. Yeah, I was like looking at my rod and all I saw was this. <laughs> oh my gosh. What if that's what's been biting you the whole time? A mud? Yeah. Could have been, but one of them felt like a bass. Yeah, one of them definitely was. Oh my, dude, holy cow, that was, that was a big fish. Might have been a mud, dude, but. Yeah. That was. You just don't have it all the way? Or no, he has his teeth marks on it, too. Dude, I like lift it up and it like pulled back on me, dude. Just stopped it all, all the way. Yeah. I got, went and hook set and there was nothing there.
You got one? Yeah. Another big mud? Dang. I'm gonna see if I can double up with you. See if this one will bite me again. <laughs> right as you bend your hook at, back out. Yeah. Those muds are freaking munching that thing. Oh, that was a big one. Nice. Oh, I got one. Oh, that, that was a freaking big bass, dude. Oh, I mean, not like a freaking monster, but that was like a solid three pounder. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah, dude, I stuck him. He ain't gonna bite again. Unless there's another one over there. He ate it right away though. Dang, dude. His teeth marks are up past the hook too. He had it, it's just, uh, he didn't stay pinned. It might be another one though. Dang, yeah, that was a good one, dude. It was like a solid, like high two pounder, yeah. like maybe a three. Might be another one. That was my first like bite. Yeah. Like, I actually had it. Dude, he felt freaking good too. I was just I'm glad I saw him. He didn't. He never. You did right there? Yeah. Should be one right there. Yeah, dude, I just threw it up there. It was like instant. He had it. Thump and he was running to the left. I had my hand on the camera too, getting ready. Oh, you got him. Is that a bass? Oh, it's a pike, dude. <laughs> nice. You know what's funny? My first pike on the river came in this cut. That's your first pike from the river, ain't it? Yeah. Well, with you, yeah. I've caught some smaller ones. I've never yeah. caught them this big. Nice. I have no idea what that noise is in the background. You know how to get them on. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe you just caught that on a, on a big worm. We caught everything but a bass. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So we're pulling up to our second spot now. We threw that big worm a good bit. Cody had like probably five bites, but we don't know if they were bass or mudfish. We want to say at least like one or two of them were bass, but uh, he caught, what'd you catch, two mudfish? Yeah. On that worm. And um, that's really all we've had so far, but that first spot we stopped at, we were just kind of playing around. It was mainly for the intro and rigging up, and then we cast it around a bit, but we're pulling into the second spot. I think we're gonna have a chance of catching a big one here. So let's uh, let's get the work. I know we can get a big one on this worm. Oh, dude, that was crazy. Dude, that bite was wicked. Oh gosh, what's wrong with this bass? Wow. Well, that's our first fish of the first bass of the day, and there's something on them. It's crazy that you catch like a 10 inch bass. I don't know what's going on with the side of them. That's interesting, but that's our first fish on the big worm today. That's exciting. I don't know if it was him or a different fish, but there, something slapped the mess out of it. It could have been him. There also could be more fish back there, so let's keep on casting. What? On the giant worm? I don't even know how that's possible. Like it's dang near coming out of his butt. <laughs> I would not have, you know, I, I thought we would have had some more mouth bites today, but I would not have expected to catch one on that big worm and like actually get him hooked. That's crazy. I was just talking to Cody. I don't know what's up with these fish. I don't know if we, they just don't want what we're throwing, but like everywhere where we've been fishing today should be prime, like good spots, good areas that we're fishing. 
and it's just not happening. I don't know. We're just gonna have to keep on covering water. It's gonna take a lot, a lot of water covering today. Oh my gosh. Guys, look at that. Got us our second bass today. We finally found some fish on this bank, found some warmouth, got bit by like a mud, and then had this like short and stubby, just fat dude. Eat it. And uh, the way that I caught him is I threw up in there, he bit me the cast before. Threw up in there, started reeling my worm, it was hung on a tree, and I saw a boil underneath, so I just let it sit, and he ate it. That is a fat dude, he was hungry. He wanted him an old double cheeseburger. Get that baby back in the water. There he goes. Are those cicadas? That sound? Yeah. Yeah, I believe so. What was that? That wasn't you? No. I thought that was you pulling your bait back. Ah, that was a fish. You probably get them. See, they're down this thing. Yeah, I got them. What is it? Another small guy, dude. I don't know what's up with the small guy. <laughs> it's like we, we put on a massive bait, you know, to catch these big fish today. And then uh, we're just catching some small ones. But when I was just talking to Cody, we were like, you know, I can't believe uh, we haven't been catching a ton of fish. and. This tide, you know, the water was full pool, I'd say about two hours ago. This water's finally starting to come out. And when we fished this place, you know, if we would have fished it two hours ago, we would have fished it in the back. You can tell that these fish are starting to pull out. And uh, now we just finally caught where they're at. And now it's been bite after bite. Finally getting some momentum here. And I think we're gonna have a big one coming up soon. We just gotta keep on casting. We're seeing a lot of activity. I think we're heading in the right direction. I'll tell you how hard that sucker hit it. Fish is like five inches. No, no bigger than that worm. I've never seen small bass like hit something so hard. Like my whole rod just went boom. Did not expect it to be that small. Look where I just flipped. Next to that gator? Yeah. Oh, uh, right there. It's all good. I'm gonna catch one right here real quick, you know? The moment I went over that tree, he was taking off with it. I had to itch my nose. Dude, he was taking off. Right when I went over that. Oh, he's got it. That's a better one. That's what we're talking about. A little bit better. Mm-hmm. That's a fat guy, dude. Look at that one. This was on the June bug worm. Now we're finally getting somewhere. I'm so excited, man. Finally just see some fish bite. Feels good. It's not a big fish by any means, but that is a thick and fat dude. You gotta love it. Thank you, buddy, for biting. You're not big, but you're a nice little fish. See you later. Grab that net, grab that net. Right here, right here, right here, right here. Yo, that's wicked. That's wicked. We got you that time, buddy. We've been seeing all these gar just like roaming around, guys. And I like flip my worm in front of them. And they'll like follow it in like they're about to eat it. And uh, that one actually kind of grabbed onto my worm. And me and Cody have been talking about it. I was like, dude, when we see one, let's follow them up to the boat and then scoop them with the net. <laughs> that's exactly what we did. Oh, that's funny, dude. Yeah. <laughs>
Yep, I'm about to say. Oh my god. I knocked him out, dude. What what is up with this, bro? Like, this is probably the weirdest day I've had on the river. This is definitely a record day. I'm just gonna be honest with you. For smallest fish? I'm not even kidding. This is a record day on the river for smallest fish. I've never caught this many small fish in one day on the river. Never. a gar literally i caught a gar i'd rather take him off at the boat but look at that i actually hooked him perfectly <laughs> look at that couldn't couldn't have been better i was reeling it he came off i was reeling the thing dude and he just hammered it I was like, <laughs> yeah the moment i hooked said he was just going ape You know, it's like every time we want to film a video like this where it's like over a specific bait, they're like doing something totally different that we could like smoke them. If we were throwing something. Like out. if we were throwing, yeah. Yeah. Happens every time. Dude, get him up here. It's a dang two pounder, ain't it? Yep. Oh, dude, he's fat as crap. Oh, yeah. Cody Bob on deck. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yep. Fat one, dude. Look at that belly. Good little belly on her. Yeah. It's a, like one pounder body, but like a two, that's a two pounder. Nice. Yep. It's a better one. That's what we've been looking for. Let's get it back in. Yeah. But this little tree right here, when it's, when all the water goes out, how it is now. I've caught, I've caught a few good ones on this. I got one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Dude, he's got he's got the same thing wrong with him as the other one. Look at all this stuff on him, dude. That is weird, man. It's kind of gross. It's like some parasites or something eating away at him. There's another spot on that side. Decent little fish right here on the main river. That was my first cat. Cody, Cody, your rod, your rod. I don't know if you got a fish or not. Oh. This is definitely a record day of river fishing, let me tell you, but it's a record for the smallest fish I've ever caught. This is crazy. Like, I've never gone out on the river and caught so many fish, and they're all, like, really small. Like, yeah, we'll have those occasional pound and a halfers that we catch all the time, but I caught a lot of half-pound fish. I don't know what's going on today. And it's funny because we came out, and we're like, yo, we're going to throw some big worms to try to catch some big ones. And uh, it just hasn't happened. 